In this video, uh, we will show the derivation, the mathematical derivation of the RC and RL circuits in response to the application of uh, voltage and current sources. This behavior is called its uh, complete response. Let's work on the series RC circuit first. So here we have a simple circuit with a switch that closes at uh, t equals zero. Here we want to know the response of the circuit after the switch is closed. Uh, response uh, could mean what is the voltage across the capacitor or the current through the capacitor. It is sometimes convenient to solve first for the voltage across the capacitor for a series RC. To solve this voltage, we still apply Kirchhoff's loss. Since this is a single loop, we don't need the KCL. So here we perform a KVL around the loop. So this is our KVL equation. So the sum of the voltages is equals to zero. By Ohm's law, we can express the uh, voltage across the resistance as IR. And we already know the relationship of the current uh, to a capacitor and its voltage as uh, being this uh, equation. We now replace this one of the uh, voltage across the resistance in terms of this, so what we get is this one, okay? So it's a differential equation in the variable V sub C. We can rearrange that differential equation and we will get this uh, uh, format. So this is a first order differential equation and to solve for V sub C, we need to solve this differential equation. So here is the differential equation again. Uh, we can rearrange the variables such that uh, it would look like that. So take note that uh, our variables are V sub C and uh, uh, the time t. Now I have uh, rearranged this in this manner so that we can solve the differential equation using uh, separation of variables. So to solve this, what we can do is uh, we integrate uh, the equation. Okay. And when we do that, uh, that means uh, we need to integrate this and this one. So the integration of this will give us a natural logarithmic function, while this one is simply a function of time. So that will give us this uh, equation. And uh, we need to introduce a constant after that. So how do we find the constant or apply? the initial condition for the circuit. So for example, what is uh, the value of uh, V sub C at T equals zero? So let's assume that V sub C at T equals zero is equal to V sub naught. So applying this uh, initial condition to this equation, that will give us a value of K equals to this one. Then we, we use this value and uh, replace this k here. That will give us uh, something like this. So this is our new equation. We transfer this term here on the other side. That will give us this equation. And by the property of uh, uh, logarithms, this one can be replaced by this, okay? 
So it's a uh, natural logarithm of a quotient. Then we do an uh, anti logarithmic function in order to express the right side in terms of the exponential function or we want to get rid of this uh, ln function. So doing that, uh, this equation can be written uh, in this way, okay? And we can solve for V sub C uh, from this equation. So our uh, V sub C will be this one. So take note that uh, V sub C is valid for uh, time from t equals zero to time infinity. It is not valid for t less than zero. So this is our uh, V sub C again. We can plot that uh, equation and uh, if we do that we will get this one. So the voltage uh, starts from an initial value of V sub naught because that is what we have assumed that at t equals zero, it is equals to V sub naught. And uh, the voltage will increase to some uh, constant value V sub s over time. So what can we say about uh, this equation and the plot? So first, uh, equation two is called the complete response of V sub C of the series RC because it shows both the uh, steady state uh, component and the transient component of uh, V sub C. The first term is the steady state component of V sub C. So it is a constant. And the second term is what we call the transient component which is an exponential function of time. So as uh, you can see, uh, this uh, term will approach zero as t approaches infinity. So this term actually vanishes over time. So as t approaches infinity, v sub c becomes a steady state. So meaning uh, it becomes uh, V sub S, which is the applied voltage on the series RC after the switch is closed. Based on equation two, uh, in this equation, we can say that uh, V sub C technically can never attain a steady state or can never be equal to V sub S. But in actual practice, we usually consider uh, V sub C to have uh, achieved a steady state after time T equals uh, 5 RC. Okay, 5 RC. Uh, from the time the switch is closed, assuming that the capacitor has no initial voltage. Well, the time can be lesser if uh, the capacitor already has an initial voltage. We can determine the current through the capacitor, which is the this current also. So from the relationship uh, given by this equation, we can uh, get the derivative of P sub C, okay? And that will give us a current that is uh, shown by equation three. We can plot I. So that is the plot of the current through the capacitor and through the entire circuit as well. This plot and this equation shows that I has only one component, which is a transient a component, uh, thus, uh, I will uh, vanish over time. Take note that upon the closure of the switch, uh, I uh, jumps from zero to a uh, uh, 
uh, this value v sub s minus v naught over r but uh, it uh, decays after that to zero as uh, t approaches infinity uh, let us work on the series rl this time so again uh, we're interested to know the voltage across the inductor v sub l or the current uh, through that inductor we can apply uh, kvl and uh, produce this equation but uh, then again we know that uh, v sub r can be expressed in terms of ir and v sub l is uh, l uh, di dt where i there is the current through the inductor this is also our I through the circuit. So we can uh, replace uh, V sub R by this one and V sub L by this one in this equation and that will give us this equation and uh, uh, simplifying it uh, we'll get this uh, uh, format. Uh, using the initial conditions that at equals zero, the current to the inductor is I sub naught, uh, we will get the solution for I as shown in equation four. So here is the uh, equation for I again. Uh, we can plot that equation and that will give us this plot. So again, similar to V sub C, I will start um, from a certain value uh, because uh, we assume that at equals zero, I equals I sub naught. And it grows until it reaches a constant value V sub S over R. Uh, similarly, uh, for a series RL, this equation is called the complete response of I because it also shows the uh, steady state and the transient components of I. The first term is the steady state component and the second term is the transient component. So as T increases, I becomes uh, steady or equal to V sub S over R, where V sub S is the applied voltage to the circuit after the switch is closed. Again, in practice, I is considered steady state after time 5 L over R. Uh, from the time the switch is closed, assuming that uh, there is no initial current to the inductor at equal zero. We can also solve for V sub L, uh, the voltage across the inductor from this uh, relationship, and that will give us this equation. We can uh, plot the voltage, and this will give us this uh, plot here. So this voltage has only one component, which is a transient component. And uh, this voltage also uh, abruptly changes from a uh, zero value before the switch is closed it jumps to this value and it starts to decay after that and uh, goes to zero as time increases so in this video we just uh, showed uh, the derivation of the complete responses of uh, series RC and RL circuits. For the series RC, uh, we solve for the complete response of the voltage across it, and we notice that it has two components, the transient component and the steady state component. Both the voltage and the current of the capacitor undergo a transient period but uh, will eventually settle to a new steady state condition that will result into a constant voltage and a zero current. For a series RL, the complete response of the inductive current 
also contains a steady state and transient components. And both the voltage and the current also go through a transient period, uh, but will uh, finally settle uh, to a new steady state condition that will result into a constant current and a zero voltage.